In this short video, I'm going to teach you how to attach together, properly and securely, the pieces you've already cut out of clay. If you need to still cut out additional shapes or forms to get 10 total, then begin by wedging your clay and rolling out a slab. I'm rolling my slab out between the balance rails. Again, you need 10 or more shapes or forms in your final sculpture. So if you were absent last class, or if you just didn't really get enough done, use your time today to cut out those 10 shapes or forms. Then, once you have 10, you're ready to start figuring out how you wanna put them together. You can manipulate the shapes to play with form. That means you can bend the clay, you can twist the clay. Experiment and see what you come up with. During this process, if you decide you don't really like the way that your sculpture is looking, you're allowed to change your mind. You're allowed to make your sculpture different than your original sketch. But when you're happy, here is how you attach your forms. First, use a needle tool and trace the area that you're going to be attaching to, and then score it up. To score clay, you need to make lines in at least two different directions, like cross hatching. Then apply some slip. Slip is clay suspended in water. You're doing this to both sides of clay that you're attaching, and then you stick it together. Once the clay is stuck together, you must then smooth out the attachment point. Take a wooden modeling tool and connect the clay from one piece into the next. As you attach clay together, of course, you want to still be thinking about good craftsmanship. You want to smooth areas out and make them look neat as you go. That way you don't have to do it all at the end. So as I worked on this piece, I decided I wanted to bend that original triangle to make it look almost like a wave. Sometimes ideas will come to you while you're working that you didn't expect. All right, so I'm gonna score and slip another piece together now. So watch how I score up both sides where they're going to attach, apply my slip, and then stick it together. And then once it's firmly stuck down, I'll use my wooden modeling tool to blend that connection point so that we don't see a line where the two parts meet. Just so you know, sometimes it is a challenge to blend the clay together in small spaces, but don't give up, you can do it. Then continue to add on more pieces. I always try adding my shapes and forms first and see what it looks like before I decide to actually score and slip them together. It's the scoring and slipping that makes it permanent. Just know that putting the clay on, even though it kind of feels like it's suctioning, it's not going to stick on once it's dried out and then fired. So you have to score and slip the clay to make it stick permanently. Try to use your time wisely in class and get as far as possible. I would hope that everyone could score and slip at least one form onto their base today. And by the end of today's class, everyone should be done cutting out all 10 of their shapes and forms. And then like last class, you're going to place your wet paper towel on top of your project before putting it in your bag. Make sure you zip your bag and then carefully place your project into the cabinet as directed. All right, here's a preview of my finished sculpture. At this point, I've attached all pieces of clay together and now I just have to refine it and smooth it out for good craftsmanship. I'm gonna wait until my project is a little bit more leather hard before I do that. Make sure you look at all sides of your project because it should look balanced and interesting from all directions. And then clean up. We're gonna clean up just like last class, put tools in the box, close the box, place all usable clay into a ball, and then shake out your mat carefully into the garbage can. You'll then need to return all materials to their correct locations on the clay cart. And then please wash your table using a sponge and then dry it off so that it's nice and ready for the next class. 